Well, I'm here with Renee James from, uh, from Ampere. I'm very excited to have her with us. We've been working together very closely on the design of our latest offering, our first offering as an ARM server chip. Um, so Renee, I know you guys have been working on this for a long time. Why, what made you guys decide to get into the ARM server chip business? We really had an ambition about building what we think comes next, very focused on cloud software, not enterprise, not legacy, not backward looking. And it just happened that ARM was, pro was the furthest along architecture for us to use. That makes complete sense. Um, so you guys have done an amazing job of creating this new 80 core part. We're sticking a couple of those into our new server. So we have 160 cores in a single server and we're, and we're launching that early in 2021 because of the work that you guys have done and the density you've created. We can also offer that at a very attractive low price, but what other motivators besides just price and performance do you see when you talk to customers that are interested in, in these CPUs? I think there's a couple of things that people are excited about. I, I think that the 80 core approach with the single core per um, instantiation, if you will, of, of, you know, allows for a level of isolation and security that people are excited about. It also allows for a level of density and, and scalability that's really oriented around pe how people sell cloud instances today. You know that we have Ultramax coming which is a 128 core version that also is uh, drop-in compatible with the first version of Ultra, this 80 cores. So we believe we can offer um, better security, higher performance, and really great value for not only yourself, but your customers. More than just being a general purpose CPU, I think with the, with the progress that ARM is having on the server side and also on the desktop side, right? If you go back a few years ago, everyone talked about these things in the server, but no one really did them. And now with um, the work that say AWS has done with Graviton and Graviton2, but I think even more importantly, the, the direction that Apple's taking by choosing to put ARM as a, an offering in their new laptop lineup, I think the demand for server-side ARM computing is going to be astronomical. Um, how do you think that typical developers should be thinking about this, right? How should, how should kind of most companies be thinking about um, how to capitalize on this opportunity for ARM in the server? That's a great question. We know that um, the ARM community of developers is significantly larger based on the device ecosystem, the phone ecosystem, edge and other emerging uh, devices that are built on ARM or becoming smart devices because of embedded ARM. Um, and what this allows is for developers to come to the OCI cloud and be able to either move their apps, develop new apps, or and very quickly get to market with something that can serve to all of those devices and emerging opportunities. I am so excited by the opportunity this presents to uh, you know, pretty much all developers around the world. Um, well, thank you, Renee. I really appreciate the work that you've been able to do with you on Ampere Ultra. I'm excited for our launch early in 2021, and I'm even more excited for the upcoming, uh, you know, developments that you guys are going to continue to put out. I'm, I've seen some of the behind the scenes roadmap stuff, and it's a very exciting time ahead. We're really excited, excited about your cloud and excited about the product. So thank you. Thank you, Renee. Bye. Bye.